We've been in Bolivia for two weeks and we've been scanning animal tracks of various different species. Uh, have a look at these. Besides the fact that infrared trigger trail cameras help to monitor wildlife here, tracks such as these, either in sand or better in mud or earth substrate, are the best way to identify wildlife. For example, there are five cat species here and experienced guides can identify their prints and often tell the sex of the animal. Forest in Bolivia is disappearing at the fastest rate anywhere in the Amazon, and the Gran Chaco dry forest is actually the most threatened terrestrial ecosystem in the world. Between the patches of forest slated for destruction and small bits of curtains to protect the soybean fields, you can actually see a lot of wildlife. These are marsh deer, which are also very much endangered, both from habitat destruction and hunting pressure. Their tracks are larger than the local rocket deer, that is less likely to be out in the open fields like this. Some animals, such as the rhea, adapt extremely well to the changes brought on by humans. Large numbers of these huge birds are seen in the fields throughout the day. They are benefiting from the reduced number of predators, and so they are a common sight, even at the airport in Santa Cruz, a city roughly the size of Montreal. The jacare caiman are not adapting well to the drought, but where there is water, they are plentiful. They are the favorite prey of the jaguars, and so these riverbanks full of the caiman's tracks are also a great place to start looking for the tracks of the jaguar. Unlike the rhea, the similar sized tract has webbed feet and much longer toes. If the substrate is soft enough, they also leave a groove from dragging their tails. Like raccoons in the northern hemisphere, the capybara does well around people. They need water, but other than that, they like to eat grass and the habitat destruction has had a much greater effect on their predators than on them. And in much of South America, these huge rodents can be seen in big numbers. They also have very large webbed feet and they are excellent swimmers. The jaguar as the apex predator is in trouble. The habitat destruction in poaching has been terrible for these cats and is becoming increasingly difficult to see them. Experienced guides can tell the age and sex of the cats by their tracks. In this area, despite the impact of the soybean plantation, the jaguar continues to hold on, making the best of a modified habitat. My favorite is actually this silly looking animal. They are the heaviest and leave the deepest tracks in the mud. The South American tapir has an excellent sense of smell and very good hearing, but it does not see very well. They are also on the menu for the jaguars, so they are quite cautious, and often enough you can only see their tracks during the day, and then you find them in the same area at night. These models were produced using Scanniverse with a late model iPhone. In general, it takes less than two minutes to scan one of the animal tracks, so other than the high cost of the phone, this may eventually become a useful tool for conservation. All the tracks 3D models shown here are in the description if you would like to try and 3D print them.